Hi, my name is Boris and in this video I'm about to show you a great way of mixing kicks and 808s together in Trap. A common technique is to use sidechain compression to duck the 808 when the kick is playing so that the low frequencies don't clash, but in this way the effect is very noticeable. If you're after something a little bit less drastic, you can use this technique. So I'm using Ableton's EQ8 in conjunction with something called an envelope follower. Here's what it sounds like. Okay, so before we dive into the details, if you like what we are doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more Ableton Live tips like this one. And we actually have a complete start to finish course on making this track. It's available in the link in the description. All right, so let's dive in. In this track, we have this drum rack, which is playing all of our drums. And we have placed this envelope follower on here, which then sends information to our EQ to duck every time the kick is playing. But let's construct this from scratch. I'm going to remove this and remove our EQ. You need to search for envelope follower and put it on your kick. It could be onto a whole track if you're using the kick on a separate track. And now let's solo this kick. You can see that the envelope follower exactly receives signal when the kick is playing. Now, all we need to do is just have an EQ on our 808. So EQ, EQ8 is going to be good for this purpose. We can disable all the other curves other than one, and you need to map this envelope follower from the kick, clicking map, onto uh, the gain of the first curve, and maybe reducing the Q all the way down. So now this is linked. But you can see that every time the kick hits, we are actually boosting the lows instead of ducking them. Just a quick break before we go back to the tutorial. If you find these type of videos helpful, we can highly recommend the PML Academy with over 35 full-length online courses, spreading over topics like writing chords and melodies or arranging your songs to producing entire songs from start to finish. So check out the link in the description to see what's inside the All Courses bundle exactly. So now let's click this button over here on the envelope follower. And you can see that for our parameter, we have the minimum and maximum value. And this basically tells us um, that right now, if we have a kick playing, we go from zero, which for in our case is all the way down here, cutting some frequencies up to 100, which in our case would be boosting these frequencies. But what we want to do is have a flat curve when the kick is not playing, when we receive signal to our envelope follower, we want this to go down instead of up. So to start, we can go to 50% to have a flat curve when the sound is not playing, this now is flat. And when the actual kick hits, we want to go down to zero to what we started from. So now let's see what this looks like. And now we are already doing some side chaining. All right, and now you can actually choose the frequency where you want this docking to happen. Let's play the 808 and the kick together. So this looks good to me. I'm cutting around 190 hertz, and this is sufficient. We are not cutting the entire mix of our 808. We are just cutting the lows, which clash with our kick. I hope you found it a cool alternative to using regular sidechain compression on 808s. And thank you for watching, guys. So consider checking out our Music Production Academy. We've got a lot of start to finish courses on there for both beginners and more advanced producers. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you like this video, comment and leave a like. And I will see you in the next ones.